that they'd be a little bit tired, but they've got Pep in their step. Dovan is fouled, and he's going to get a free throw. Mohamed Sharif with the foul for Alabama A&M. Georgetown has reopened their lead. It's back to six. They'll pick and roll. And a kick out. Long three, and it goes. That's Evan Wiley, who's a good three-point shooter. Maybe smaller. That's why Georgetown has to have confidence when they shoot the ball that there's not many guys there on that A&M team that can challenge. Oh, look at that. That's Reeder coming in hot with the uh, rebound and the putback and the contact, and he's got a shot and what could be a spectacular three-point play. And yeah, Jalen Reeder, a transfer, and he has done a terrific job of providing the spark of energy for this team. Legal guarding position, and that's what happened there. If you're going to take it, you got to take it. Caleb Johnson sits down, corner three, and it's Blair. And the bench right now for Georgetown is sparkling. Javon Blair, Jagan Mosley, Trey Dickerson, all getting good minutes. A ball game in which Georgetown had a lead, a significant lead in that ball game. He couldn't hold it. Steal there. This is Antoine Walker. And Walker got the steal. Nice touch by Trey Dickerson. Cutting off the ball handler, utilizing that sideline as an extra defender. Caleb Johnson, and that's a three. You know, talking about Syracuse, you know, he lost to St. Bonaventure the other night. Not to say that St. Bonaventure is not a good team. They had a big win against Maryland earlier this year as well. So, but nevertheless, and that would include a national championship in oh, 1984. That's a big moment from Mohamed Sharif. And Georgetown stretches the lead now. To 30. A little weave outside. Johnson got inside, couldn't finish. Cleaned up by Mosley. Blair. And a nifty, oh, my nifty reverse. Trey Dickerson. Yeah, especially when you're the overwhelming favorite. You never know what's going to happen, but obviously, you know, Georgetown, after the first six, eight minutes, Decided to play the kind of basketball that they were expected to play against this A&M team. And for Alabama A&M, you know, now they can go back, get themselves prepared, kind of um, relive the experiences they had over those first 13 games and utilize them in a positive manner, they hope. Well, what did you learn about your, your team over the course of the non-conference before you start Big East play against Butler? Uh, I think we got real comfortable with each other, you know, executing a, a new offense under Coach Ewing and all that. So uh, I think we got comfortable with playing with each other and, you know, trying to execute his game plan every game. And I think we're going hard every game. You know, we're ready for conference. Well, early in the game, it looked as though you were trying to let the game come to you. Got started a little bit slowly. Yeah. But then you started to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What did Coach say to you in halftime? Uh, he didn't really say nothing. He told me just, you know, keep playing my game. You know, and, uh, my teammates were looking for me. Uh, I was just trying to get on the offensive glass, you know, and really be aggressive. And, uh, you know, I was working, especially early in the first half. So, uh, I think, you know, we play well. Jesse, uh, Georgetown has a great tradition of big men and, and talented big men. And you are playing for one of those in Patrick Ewing. What has uh, Patrick taught you just in the, the three months that, that you've been around him in terms of practice and games? Oh, uh, yeah, he's taught me to go hard on every possession, you know, play every possession like it's my last. But he's telling the guy, all the guys that, you know what I mean? And I think, you know, each game we're going to have X factors that, you know, come up in a big way. And I think Antoine Walker today was, was real big. You know, he came off the bench with Rodgers with a real big spark, you know, offensive rebounding, you know, finishing and defending real well. So he played real good today for a freshman. He stepped up. I'm proud of him. Okay, looking forward, obviously people have criticized your scheduling and thinking that you guys haven't played that tough a team, maybe mm -hmm. except for Syracuse. Now that the Big East is right around the corner, how do you feel about your team's chances? Is the confidence there? Or are you guys ready to kind of put it out there? Yeah, I feel good about it. Uh, we're going to go into every game trying to go 1-0. That's our main goal. So, uh, you know, we got Butler on the 27th when we uh, come back from the Christmas break. So uh, we're going to try and start conference play right, but, uh, you know, be 1-0 after that. Enjoy your uh, break. I know it's a short one. And yeah. I know Coach lectured you that didn't start till this game ended. So yeah. The break starts now. It's yeah, the ended. Break starts now. <laughs> you can relax. 